top 10 animals that mate for life, finding that special someone in your life is a wonderful thing, but for animals it is also quite rare. Although about 90% of birds merge for life, the same cannot be said for mammals. But despite their rarity, you can find lasting partnerships in the animal kingdom, from pairs of energetic wolves to lizards who take the idea of becoming one to a whole new level. Here are 10 animals that are in it for a long time. Number 10. Gray Wolf. Gray wolves are animals that mate for life and live in Alaska as well as Wisconsin, Michigan, and Idaho. These monogamous canines reach sexual maturity at three years of age. A female gives off an odor when she is ready to mate, female gray wolves give birth to a litter of five to nine cubs once a year. She takes care of the young in the cave while the male hunts to feed the family. Males stand guard over their young to protect them, in a pack of gray wolves, usually only the leader male and female are allowed to breed. Pairs mate for life to strengthen their leadership position, producing a new litter each year and providing stability for the rest. Package Monogamy makes it easier for the alpha to demonstrate his strength and superiority over other male members of the herd. It's much easier to protect one companion against strides than trying to protect multiple partners, securing their spot as the top dog. Number 9. Beavers. For the Eurasian beaver, monogamy is more about practicality than romance. Unlike their North American counterparts, who are known to mate beyond their attached mates, Eurasian beavers cooperate for life to increase their chances of survival. Although one of their main food sources is tree bark, it has no nutritional value so beavers must eat a lot of bark to stay alive. So, by pairing, couples can spread their workload and make sure everything gets done. The study found that duties split between the pairs included maintaining dams and lodges, defending their territories, and sharing parenting duties. Beavers reach sexual maturity at the age of two years. A female emits a scent to let nearby male beavers know that she is ready to mate. After mating, beavers stay together for life, after beaver cubs are born, the female takes care of them while the male forages and protects the nest. Both parents continue to care for the cubs until they are two years old. Beavers can live up to 10 years in the wild, the conservation status of the beaver is least concerned with stable populations. Number 8. Gibbons. Gibbons are different from great apes, bonobos, chimpanzees, gorillas, orangutans, and humans, in being smaller, exhibiting low sexual dimorphism, and not making nests. Like all apes, gibbons are tailless. Unlike most of the great apes, gibbons frequently form long-term pair bonds. Their primary mode of locomotion, brachiation, involves swinging from branch to branch for distances up to 15 meters. 50 feet at speeds as fast as 55 kilometers per hour 34 miles per hour. They are the fastest of all tree-dwelling, non-flying mammals. Many human couples can identify with a song, a certain piece of music played at a pivotal moment in their relationship, but for Gibbons, Hylobatidae, it's the song that brings the couples together. Couples come together first. Paired apes perform a duet a series of vocalizations that combine their individual mating calls into a single song that becomes the essence of their relationship. These loud, long, and well-coordinated duets are sung during intimate moments together like mutual grooming or when couples are apart. When the female is in the center of the couple's territory, maintaining the song will prevent their male mates from straying too far from the house. Number 7. Oldfield Mice. In the vast majority of mammal species, males mate with as many females as possible and offer no help with raising offspring. Oldfield mice belong to the about 5% of species in which a male forms a long-term bond with a single female and offers paternal care, oldfield mice mate for life, which makes them unique among rodents. They are also more nurturing than any other rodents. In fact, the father and mother will work together to build an elaborate nest and take care of their young. Even the mice's closest known relative, the deer mice, is much more promiscuous, having many mates throughout their lives. Number 6. Black Vultures. Unlike mammals, monogamy is the norm among birds. Take the black vulture, Corygips atratus, for example, 
black vultures are monogamous and pairs are believed to mate for life. Pairs remain together year-round. Family members associate more closely with each other than with other individuals, but once the male has identified a mate, a courtship ritual follows, which can sometimes end with a courtship dance in the air. Once the eggs are laid, the two vultures share the responsibility of incubating the eggs by taking turns doing it in 24-hour shifts. But it's not all bliss. What distinguishes black vultures from other birds is their practice of monogamy is enforced. If a mate is caught running around in public, the rest of the flock will attack them with a brutal attack, forcing them to retreat to the mate's nest, and thus prevent any other vulture with upcoming adultery intent. Black vultures are highly sociable with humans and they are very intelligent. Number 5. Swans. Swans are primarily monogamous birds that will spend many years, if not a lifetime, with a single mate. However, just like human relationships, swan couples are often victims of breakups and infidelity. In fact, among Australian black swans, an estimated one in seven eggs are raised by a male swan that is not genetically related to the offspring, unbeknownst to the male swan, apparently. Reasons for finding a new mate among swans include nest failure, poor breeding season and the death of one of the swans. In general, when a separation occurs, it is easier for the female swan to find a new mate, as she will join a flock, while the male will stay in his breeding territory and hope to attract bee mates. Number 4. Bald Eagle. Nicknamed the King of Birds, eagles are large and powerful birds of prey that seem to soar majestically through the air in search of their next meal. Most species are well protected by governments, conservation organizations and international actions around the world, but a few lesser-known species are endangered, bald eagles live in the United States and Canada. These birds are sexually mature at the age of five years. As a courtship ritual, for these animals that mate for life, a male and female grab their claws and spin together in the air. Usually, a female lays two eggs in a litter. Females and males take turns sitting on the eggs. Males hunt to feed their females and chicks. The chicks leave the nest at about 11 weeks of age and will soon become independent. Eagles can live 20 to 30 years in the wild. Number 3. Red Fox. Foxes are interesting creatures. Red foxes are often, but not always, faithfully monogamous. Most foxes mate for life and can produce multiple litters during their lifetime. Sometimes they will live in pairs with a male mating with a female. The mating season of foxes is from December to February. In January, the foxes from the previous litter disperse and go away on their own. This is when the parents will start mating again. When foxes breed, they have a mating call that resembles a loud cry. The baby was born in the spring, however, it sometimes happens that a male lives in a burrow with several female foxes with whom he mates. In other situations, a pair of foxes will coexist with a non-breeding nanny, who lives with the breeding pair and their offspring. Number 2. Shingleback Lizard Shingleback lizards are bulky, dark brown lizards with dark blue tongues and bright pink mouths. Their natural habitat is in southern Australia, and they are common in New South Wales. Their offspring are ready to look after themselves shortly after birth, negating the need for co-parenting. Nonetheless, though these lizards are solitary for nine months of the year, they return to their monogamous pairing year after year. In fact, it is not an uncommon sight in New South Wales to see pairs crossing the road together, with the male following the female. This social monogamy has been known to last for over 10 years and is very uncommon among lizards. Even after death, their bond can remain, as skinks have been noted to remain with partners killed on roadsides for several days, nudging and licking their fallen mates. Number 1. Lovebird. When we think of non-human animals in love, the first pairing that probably comes to mind is lovebirds. After all, the word love is in their name. Paired lovebirds often feed their mates. There are nine species of lovebirds and monogamy is an essential part of social stability in their flocks. If one of the pair goes missing or dies, the other will act erratically. 
Lovebirds living alone as pets exhibit behaviors similar to those of these avid wild birds.